our chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser. So, Rich, this drives everyone crazy. You have reassurances for year after year, and now a study with caution. What, is, what do you make of it? Well, I mean, the WHO is a very important organization, and when they speak, you need to pay attention. They're not saying here that cell phones definitely cause cancer. What they're saying is that they can't rule out that possibility. More studies need to be done. And in the meantime, there are precautions that you can take. That's just wise advice. So for the decades to come, take the precautions now. We heard about some of the things you should do, the earpieces, for instance. And one of the things, children in particular, why children? Well, I mean, I'm a parent. I'm a pediatrician. Children are different. Their skulls are thinner. Their brains are developing. And this is the first generation that has been on cell phones since young childhood. And so studies haven't been done to say what happens to them over two decades. So you really want to limit their time, have them do texting more, use an earpiece or a speakerphone. Those are just simple things to do. And I know you'll be weighing in online with all this. Thank you, Dr. Richard Besser.